welcome back to my channel everyone and today you know what we're making we are making some cinnamon roll cinnamon bun whatever you call it and if i can do this you can do this at home it's going to be soft it's going to peel away and you're going to see all that brown cinnamon almond goodness it's moist and it tastes so good and it looks so good it's so easy to make man your family will be stuffing their faces <laughs> Let's get started. For the ingredients, we have some all-purpose flour, some eggs, brown sugar, a little oil, salt, milk, and of course, yeast. All right, so we add our brown sugar to our all-purpose flour. If you have bread flour, use it, it's much better. But we use what we have. All right, so I add some salt to this and I mix this together before adding the yeast because I do not want the yeast to have any direct contact with the salt cause salt could probably kill the yeast. All right, I'm going to add my fast acting yeast instead of my active dry yeast. This is much faster. This yeast works much faster cause all I have to do is just add it to the flour. You know, I don't have to put it in water first and all of that bunch of process. All right, so let's move on to adding in some fat and flavor yeah so the eggs it gives richness and moisture and that nice soft texture i use only a little oil my husband doesn't like a lot of oil in his pastry and then you just make a little well and mix it in it. easy so far right yes easy Fun fact, so yeast eats sugar which creates carbon dioxide which creates the bubbles which makes your dough puffy <laughs> or whatever you call it. Alright, we're going to add our milk in slowly and try not to add too much milk. So I add around approximately 2 ounces of milk, a little bit, a little bit there, yeah. And if it gets too wet. Fix your dough by just adding a little bit more flour. <laughs> it ain't rocket science. It ain't hard. Trust me. And you just mix in that until it looks like this. And of course, I could be kneading or should be kneading this on a countertop. But I'm not ready for that mess. Just right yet. So I need for around 3 minutes. And then I'm going to transfer into another bowl oil my bowl and i'm going to just take up my dough and fold it underneath so that all the carbon dioxide bubbles are trapped inside my dough and they do not escape and i'm going to oil with some vegetable oil and then i'm going to cover and let this rest overnight in my refrigerator and if you're not doing it overnight you can let it rise our ferment for one for four hours <laughs> we're get one hour four hours guys i'm doing this overnight so that's what i did i put it in the refrigerator see it's night time it's dark y'all <laughs> the next day all right next day after you take it out of the fridge you're not going to use it immediately you're going to let it stand at least for one hour in room temperature to let your dough further or finish or finish rise right and look at the before and after you can clearly see that my dough has risen in the refrigerator all right so let's get going on to making something moist so i add a little bit of sugar and water to the pot let's reduce it a little bit what we're going to do is put this at the base of our baking pan so that our our rolls don't dry out just a little syrup you know not too much this is to keep our cinnamon rolls moist i'm going to make the filling right now so i'm using a little bit of brown sugar almond and some cinnamon yes yes i add some i add the almond essence to the sugar first mix it up mix it up first you know what i mean and then add in around some cinnamon <laughs> around two three tablespoons of cinnamon powder and then i add the sugar and i mix together and it smells 
so good. I love this part. I love smelling cinnamon and almond together. Oh, look at it. You know? Mm, so good. Alright, so we'll mix it until it looks like this. Everything is fully incorporated. And it's now to get messy. Flower your surface, guys. Yes. Messy time. <laughs> Flower your rolling pin, guys. <laughs> and you can puff down your pastry dough and then we're going to flow a little bit we're going to knead it that it's much easier to work with that we get out all of the stickiness don't need it for too long though you don't want to work out all of that nice bubbles and then flow a little bit you know trust me you do not want a sticky dough that cannot roll and then we're going to flour the rolling pin again <laughs> flour 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 and then we're going to roll out our dough really easy you still here with me guys all right roll out i'm going to flip the dough now this is very important you have to flip the dough see that sticky you need to ensure that the dough can roll and so you have to ensure that it isn't sticking underneath Just see. all right so now we're going to finish rolling out our dough and you see because we flip it and we know say oh the dough not sticking on the countertop <laughs> we're ready now we're ready to add our filling our cinnamon almond sugar and we sprinkle on top i love this this is the finesse this is the style this is so easy this is nice <laughs> and it smells good <laughs> and we just pat it down mm. all right so this is another important step please do not miss this when rolling your cinnamon rolls you need to roll it big with space in it yes <laughs> like this and do not roll it like that that is too tight you're not going to if you roll it too tight your dough is not going to have enough space to rise you know you want to you want to fold it big like this yes like that we like it big oh, we like it chunky eh. <laughs> all right we're talking about cinnamon rolls right now all right so we continue rolling over and it's so easy and it's so fun and it's done <laughs> all right and if i can do this trust me you can do this do this at home we're going to cut off the edges remember this brown sugar syrup we made all right rest it aside we're going to use it now i'll be cutting out my cinnamon rolls and i use one as the guide of measurement i learned to this in school <laughs> i'll remember something all right so we're going to pack in our cinnamon rolls now and to the side that is opening we just kind of just lean it to the to the side of your baking pan to ensure that it doesn't roll out yep and look how easy this is mm. all right so you know the little trimmings that we cut off you can still use it if you want but because i'm doing this for professional purpose i just kept it out and we're going to cover and let this proof which is its final and second rise for at least 30 minutes so that it can rise up before baking look at it mm-hmm you see at least 30 minutes what it did yes uh-huh and then we're going to ship this into the oven and bake for at least 30 minutes and while it's baking we're going to make an egg wash just an egg just crack it and mix it and then we're just going to brush it all over our pastry this has been baking for 30 minutes so we'll take it out after 30 minutes and brush with the egg wash so easy then we box it back into the oven <laughs> and bake for 10 minutes to cook the egg wash and to brown up our cinnamon rolls look at that beautiful you can see before and after how it has risen it's soft and moist from all of that brown sugar syrup we placed at the base just a little not too much we're not making sticky bun here i love this i love you thanks for watching